welcome to my channel. I am Dollar Dr. Jennifer, veterinarian and part-time reseller on mostly just Poshmark. One of my goals for 2022 is to probably cross list a little bit more, especially certain items, but that's not happening yet. <laughs> I'm trying to get everything listed on Poshmark and then going from there, but that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is my top 21 sales of 2021. Last year I did my top 20 of 2020 and I did kind of categories and specific sales. This year I'm going to be doing actual sales. I don't tend to sell super high priced items. So these are my highest items that I've sold in the last year. All right, I got my life together a little bit more. So <laughs> there's gonna be 21 and there's gonna be a couple honorable mentions just because of stuff I was really happy about and stuff that you wouldn't expect would sell for as much as it did. These are kind of not gonna be in any order per se, but they all are sales of above $40 except for one, but that was a plush. And so I put that, that's one of the honorable mentions. Some of these are price based and, you know, time it took to sell based. Some are just, it was just a high sell, sell rate for me. Um, like I said, I do sell mostly fast flip, like lower, lower end stuff, like t-shirts. I do a lot of t-shirts. I have a lot of hats now <laughs> for some reason. Uh, this year was not as good for mugs. I will say uh, group-wise, bras were still a good one for me this year. Um, I will definitely continue to get bras. Shoes were so-so. Um, the ones I did sell did sell pretty well for the most part. And swimwear, I did a lot of swimwear this year as well. And ugly Christmas sweaters. But um, these are going to be my top sales price-wise. I'm going to put, you know, picture here so you can see what it is. Um, but our first one is a seven for all mankind. I think this was my highest sale of the year. They were uh, dojo flare jeans with, and they were a collab with Swarovski crystals. They were new with tags. I did get these on my, I got them at a veterans thrift store on my birthday road trip. Uh, if I remember, I will link it above, but I probably won't remember, but you can go search for that. <laughs> Cause that was a pretty fun video down to Columbia, South Carolina with a friend of mine. These sold for $100. They did take five and a half months to sell, but I paid a dollar for them. So it was a very good flip for me. I made $79 on them. I was super happy with that. Next sale was these Lafayette 148 menswear brown wool pants wide leg these i actually got on the real reel uh, with one of the coupons so they were free so i sold them for 50 dollars and ended up making 40 on them and they only took a couple months to sell so i was pretty happy with that um, this next sale is probably one of my favorite sales because i absolutely loved it and if it had been my size it might have ended up in the keep pile <laughs> but it was this really cool Black Mountain Outdoor Howling Wolves fleece zip-up jacket. It was vintage. I only paid 75 cents for it. It did sell for $70, which I think is one of the highest price sales on Poshmark for this brand. And I ended up making $55.25 and it sold in about eight days. So yeah, pretty stoked about that sale. Um, our next sale is actually a free people sale, which is kind of interesting because, you know, I'm not a super big fan of free people. This was free people summer of love. It was a crochet top. You'll see it over here. I only paid 91 cents for it. It ended up selling for 48 and I ended up making $35 and 99 cents on it. But it did take about five months to sell, so that wasn't so great. I did pick this up, I think, in Greensboro, North Carolina. It was actually the first time I met Janet. I found a lot of cool, interesting things that day, and I still have a lot of them left. <laughs> but I have sold some of them. Our next sale was this Trina Turk Orchestra Chevron mini dress. It was almost like a little athletic dress, I think. It sold for $45, and I paid... I did pay, oh no, 
I'm just kidding. This is not an athletic, athletic dress. This was like a little long sleeve dress. Um, it did sell for $45. I did pay up for this. I paid $3 for it at my honey hole. And um, so I ended up making $31.50 on it. And it did take a little longer. It took seven months to sell. I would still probably have picked it up. It, is really, it was a really pretty dress, as you can see. So, eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, our next big sale were these Rock Revival Tucker Straight Leg Jeans. These I picked up at that same veterans thrift store. I did pay $2.99 for these, so a little bit more than I normally would. They did sell for $80, though, and I ended up making $61.01 on them, um, and they took about five months to sell as well. Our next one I had for a long time, it was this Zara Wool Blend Coat Black with, like, a faux fur, um, like, edged hood got a lot of really low ball offers on this and i just kept waiting finally i did accept a 60 dollars offer i paid like a dollar 12 for it and so i ended up making 46 dollars and 88 cents but it did take 11 months almost a year to sell i don't know zara and i have a very strange relationship because <laughs> i find a lot of cute stuff and then it kind of sits and it's kind of like cabbie and some other things for me but it did end up selling and I was happy to be rid of it, to be honest. Um, next sale was uh, Adriano Goldschmied wine colored, the Ste I think it was called the Stevie like jeans. Did pay up for these. I actually sourced these on Poshmark. Someone was having going out of business sale. I bought some stuff. And until recently I hadn't sold very much of it. And so it felt like it was kind of a bad deal. I did pay $2.83 for these. They did finally sell for $45, um, so I did make $33.17, uh, but they did take eight months to sell, and I actually sent them to the Real Real in that time as well, and the Real Real did not accept them because they didn't accept the brand, even though they have stuff on there, whatever. Um, so I got them back from the Real Real, and they sold like quickly after I got them back. So I was happy with that sale. Sorry, I'm holding my computer down here. <laughs> Next was actually a really good sale. It was this Kate Spade New York leopard print shoulder bag. Um, I had a lot of people interested in this. It did end up selling for $70. I did pay up for this. So the, I did get this on the real reel, but I paid $5.06 for it. And so I ended up making $50.94 on this bag, which I was super stoked about. And it sold within about a month or so. I didn't keep track of exactly what I listed. <laughs> Next one is actually two two items in one category. They're both Athleta. One was the Beton Betona Boyfriend Blue Gray Joggers, size extra small. And the other was the Athleta Farallon Jogger Pants, white size six. Um, I'm putting these together because they both sold for $40. Um, and very quickly, um, the, the one sold in 13 days and the other sold in 11. So, and I'm pretty sure that was close to my full asking price if I remember correctly. So those are both really good sales. The blue ones I made $31.19 on. And then the white ones I made $31.39 on. So I paid... 81 cents for one and like 61 for the other. Next um, was a brand that I had never found before, but I wanted to. And so I do hope I find some more of this next this year. Um, the brand is Marine Layer. It was a Finley sweater tank top in the color Buttercup yellow. Um, I paid 68 cents for it. It did sell for $40. I did make $29.82 on it and it sold within 10 days of listing. So definitely marine layer, I would definitely pick up. This is a really cute top and I think it was a newer style if I'm not mistaken. So that did really well. Spanx in general, I have a, a hit or miss relationship with. I have sold some of it recently. Um, these are on the list because they did sell for $45. It's the Spanx ankle zip leggings, black size extra large. Did pay $1.07 for them. I did end up making $33.43 on them, but they did take 70 days to sell. So a little over two months. I would probably still pick them up again. They did sell well overall. And it is what it is. 
Next was Fox Racing Monster Energy Drink Ricky Carmichael collab hoodie. I paid 91 cents for this and I ended up selling it for $50. I ended up making $39.09 and it took 20 days to sell. Had really good luck with a lot of the Monster Energy stuff lately. I do have a hat I need to get listed actually. It is another Fox slash uh, Monster Energy Drink collab hat. I do recommend picking that stuff up. I've had really good luck with Monster Energy Drink. There does seem to be a following. I've sold something on eBay and on Poshmark with that. So our next one is a Vineyard Vines a Scallop Scort. Scallop Edge Scort Navy, size 14. It sold within 25 days and it sold for $45. I did only pay 73 cents for this. So I did end up making $35.27 on this item, which I was super stoked about. I don't know, Vineyard Vines is another one I feel is hit or miss, but when it hits, it hits pretty well. So I do pick up some Vineyard Vines stuff. I've got a couple like button ups I need to get listed. I usually don't like to pick those up, but it is what it is. <laughs> Sometimes I pick them up anyway. Our next item was a really cool one. This was actually an eBay sale, but it was Harley Davidson 105th anniversary work shirt, size large. So it was a button up. It had really cool graphics on it. I paid 78 cents for it and it sold for $68.99. I think that included the shipping. I charge for shipping on eBay. So I did end up making $53.59 on this shirt and it sold within 39 days of listing. So I know a lot of you like Harley Davidson. I do too. There are certain things though that I've been having a little bit more trouble moving, uh, like some of the tank tops and stuff. Some of it are really good. Uh, next sale was actually a direct sale and it was these rainbow tie-dye Converse, size 10 and a half that I did. I'll put a picture if I have one. I'm not sure if I still have one or not. They're really cool. I did pay about $4 for them, but I ended up making um, $48 and it went to Oregon. <laughs> Next sale were these really cool Antonio Milani leather rabbit fur heel booties, size eight. I did pick these up at a regular Goodwill. But my cost of goods for the day ends up only being like $1.87 for some reason. I don't know why. I might have had a coupon or something. But they ended up selling for $60. And I ended up making $46.13. And they sold in 25 days. These shoes were so pretty. One of my friends like really wanted them, but they did not fit her. <laughs> but they were really cool. Next are these Diesel Zach Flair Bootcut Wash Jeans, size 36 by 34. Diesel seems to do pretty well. In general, I haven't found it very much. I think just mostly this one pair, but I paid $1.07 for them and I ended up selling for $40. Uh, I ended up making $30.93 and they sold within 18 days of listing. So I definitely would pick up Diesel Jeans again. This is an interesting one. This is one I got with my mom when we were thrifting in Florida. It was a David Klein crushed blouse rhinestone size extra, extra large. Very vintagey looking, very like, is that chain and whatever print. I did pay $4 for it and it did sell for $45. Uh, so I ended up making $32 on this shirt and it sold within 52 days, which I was not bad at all. Um, it was one of those things I picked up where I was like, oh, this might sit for like tw 20 years. <laughs> but it does have a following somewhere, so I was happy with that. Next was actually a Lily Pulitzer. It was a navy blue Cala off-shoulder romper. Um, I picked this up for 74 cents. I think it was new with tags, if I'm not mistaken. And I ended up selling it for $64.00. So I made $50.46 on this, but it did take 90 days to sell. So it took a couple months, but I was super happy with that pickup. Our last of the 20, 21 of 2021, <laughs> say that 20 times fast, uh, was this Trina Turk bikini bottom with gold bead tie sides. It was new with tags and I picked it up for 74 cents and I ended up selling it for 45. So I ended up making $32.80 on it and it sold within 37 days of listing. 
definitely would pick that up again. We do have two honorable mentions uh, because I really love them and they are things that I would definitely pick up again if I saw them. The first is this really cool polo by Ralph Lauren, Martini Bear, silk tie, black. This was the Ralph Lauren Bears are all the rage. I actually found this for 75 cents at a church thrift store. Uh, it ended up selling for $40. So I ended up making $31.25 on it, and it sold in 16 days. It got so many likes so fast, so many lowball offers, but I did wait. 40 I felt was pretty acceptable for it, and it was a really fast flip. So I will say sometimes I will take slightly lower price if it is a fast flip. And then last was this really cute Shining Stars Blue Purple Dragon. It was new with the tag that had the computer information on it where you can actually name a star or something. So it, I bought that for 91 cents. I ended up selling it for 35. I ended up making $27.09 on this plush and it took 107 days to sell. I was pretty happy with that and happy with the pickup and, and everything. So I would definitely do that again. I would probably not pick them up if they don't have the tag. Don't think that they will sell as well. I'm finding that out because I did get some like web kids, web something and lots of likes, but no buyers. And I think they also usually have that tag and this one does not, so. Anyway, sorry for Remy in the background. Uh, there's possibly someone finally moving in next door to me. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. It's been empty since like September. No, it's been empty for a long time. Uh, it's been empty since last summer. So anyway, off topic. So those are my top 21 sales of 2021. <laughs> and we are already starting this year off right and I'm very excited for what 2022 holds. I am taking some time and working on my health and stuff and of course I start all this and I hurt my knee so this is my life. <laughs> but I am meeting today with a personal trainer that works with people with injuries so we will see how that goes and I hope everyone is having some great sales. I've got some really fun stuff coming up. Some more thrift hauls, of course, throughout the year. Some more animal investigations. I gotta throw in a throwback Thursday here and there. And I am gonna start a little how to use Poshmark series. Uh, for those that may not know some of the shortcuts or may be new to it, etc. Uh, so hopefully that will be coming out soon. I am working only one day next week. Then I am getting my COVID booster. So I will probably be sick for next week, the end of next week. Sunday, definitely come join me for What Sold Sunday Live. Um, we've got quite a few things to go through. And I've actually, spoiler alert, made my money back on my Thread of Fun box. Still made no money on my first thread of box. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, I've also ordered another thread of box because of Alicia. So we will see how that goes. I am going out now. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that when new videos do go up, you are notified. And I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. But remember, to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.